Hi and welcome to my playhouse and today I'm hopefully gonna make a short video I have this server which is my favorite Lenovo X3650 model 4 and I have been testing a little bit on this yesterday with some memory balancing but to do that I put in a hard drive which contained a server 2016 operating system and replaced that uh, or I replaced a couple of other disks to do that um, so today I want to just show how you can actually do that uh, swap hard drives until the RAID controller that there well right now you have to look at a couple of new disks and hopefully this will go well for me again because I need the machines that are on those two disks that we're gonna be swapping to but I'm gonna clean this up because um, we don't need the server to be hanging out here so um, doing that I have a couple of small weird contacts here for when I have to test something on the server so I don't have to unplug it every time so I can just shut it off. Um, I do use dual power supply so I have two of them. So as you can see I have a server 2016 you can't actually see that but that is running from over here on drive number zero and drive number one and two is just sitting there just um, I didn't plug them in because then they would interfere and I do actually have a memory issue thing there interesting I'll have to look into that um, but what I want to do is take out drive number zero and put in one and two again and one and two is configured in array one I think so right now I just want to sh shut down the server 2016 to do that Down. and it's blinking which means it's shut down so now I'm gonna swap the disks around take out drive number zero which is a it's a Samsung the cheap one SSDs and put in these two um, their Intel disks eight we have 480 gigabyte Intel drives. I am actually planning on uh, changing the RAID level on these because they're a little bit too good for running RAID 1. I think I want to do a RAID 0 or something or maybe do a RAID 5 together with, with this one. Um, I'm thinking about that but right now I've this one is just sitting there again um, for now and I want to change to use this configuration when I turn on the server it will complain because it has just lost the disk configuration from this one I have tried to explain this in a couple of videos but inside is the RAID controller and it's the RAID controller that sees the disks and the RAID controller will then present uh, the disk drives uh, as a virtual disk to the operating system and that means that the RAID controller can take these two drives make a mirror as they're doing right now and present that mirror to the operating system as just a drive so actually the operating system does not know that it's dealing with a mirror out here it just has a drive so um, 
What will happen when I turn this on is that the rate controller will be complaining because it lost the configuration that was on this one. It will recognize that, wait a minute, the disks that I had just a second ago, it just totally disappeared. And I had these two strangers, what to do with those? So let's uh, try and turn this on and see what the rate controller actually says. Turn on. It will make a lot of noise. Well, there's a lot of noise out here already. So it's not going to be that bad. And it's going to be thinking about that for just a second or two. And I'll, I'll watch this to see what this memory thing was. If it tells me anything new about that. Here we go. It has um, found that uh, this is a critical message, apparently. Uh, we know what's going on, but if this was a production server... Oh, um, there's a memory fault as well. Uh, we're not going to care about that. There is a decent amount of memory in here. We don't have to worry about that. All disk from the previous configuration is gone. If this is an unexpected message, you should turn off the server and try all the plugs and stuff. Uh, we know that this was gonna happen, so what I have to do is press enter and I have to press C uh, to get into the configuration and it will ask me again, I think, and I have to press Y to do that. I'm not sure why, but why? And Please exit there, and it will do. Um, and we get in here, and that's where my mouse is um, teasing me. So I have to go get a uh, mouse with a cord. So I'll have to plug that in somewhere, and now I can control the the mouse on the screen. I could use the keyboard, but uh, it looks better with a mouse. So, what we get here is the rate controller. If I had more than one rate controller, this would be an issue because there would be more rate controllers and I would have to select the one that I wanted to work on. So right now we're gonna start on the only one in here. And foreign configurations were detected. Do you want to import? And we can do different stuff. We can not do anything here it just shows all configurations we can preview we can clear which i'm definitely not gonna do we can cancel to go back out so we're gonna preview those and it will show me those two discs slot number zero and slot number one and they're in disc group zero and they are virtual drive number zero they're in a raid one uh, which makes them 446 gigabytes ish which um, is the same as one drive so i'll mark that one over there and we will click import and that was imported to the server so now when i boot the server it should actually not boot from these drives because there is a bootable USB stick in there. So that is what I'm gonna be booting on. Let's just exit this and I will have to go to the BIOS and check out what this memory issue is. But um, well, we're actually done importing this and now I'm going to the BIOS to check this out. Might as well, now we are at it. There, system information, so here, it's 
missing at least one block. Hmm. Okay, this is processor number zero, wasn't it? Processor number one. And that has dims in one and two, then it has in four. Okay, something is something is missing here. Let's let's see processor number two. Yeah, that looks right. It it should have these eight blocks. So there is something wrong with dim number five. I have to check out that is missing. So well, I will have to shut down the server and check that out. Okay, I took the server apart and counted. These are numbered that way up. Are they? I think so. The first one is at least one, two, three, four, five. And this one is not pressed in. So um, that's that's my mistake, definitely. Oh. Well, let's uh, see if it survived that mistreatment. So um, that wasn't good. So now there is no uh, error out here, so it seems to be good. So now I can put the cover back on. Um, and we will see if this beast boots. Ah, and this is where I realized that I didn't take the USB stick out when I put windows on the system and apparently the server 2016 has totally demolished that USB stick. It still has some boot, it, it knows that it's a hypervisor but it has lost whatever it was doing. I don't know what bank 5 and 6 is, I'm not gonna bother. Luckily it's just a hypervisor, it's so easy to reinstall. The virtual machine that I had on there, uh, well, that was located on those two disks. So, well, I have to go reinstall the hypervisor for this to work. Well, so that's how you can import a foreign configuration into your RAID controller, at least on a Lenovo system like this, the X3650 Model 4, with a RAID controller 5110E, I think it's called, server RAID, yeah. Thank you very much for watching my videos. Do subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. Give the video a like below and have a really nice day. Bye bye.